Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I want to show you how you can specify the empty model or intercept only model of multi-level analysis in the M plus software. My name is Christian Geiser. On this channel I present weekly statistics tutorials related to multivariate statistical methods such as structural equation modeling, factor analysis, latent class analysis and multi-level modeling. If this is something that interests you then please subscribe to this channel. Also don't forget to hit the like button in case you like this video. So in this video I want to show you how to specify one of the simplest possible multi-level models in the M plus software, the so-called intercept only model that is sometimes also called an empty model or an unconditional cell means model or simply a random intercept model. Why is this model useful or interesting? This model is often used as the first step or starting point or baseline model in a multi-level analysis when somebody wants to find out whether it's worth doing or whether it is necessary, we could also say, to run a multi-level analysis at all. In this model, we partition the variance into individual level variance and between groups level variance to see if there is any variance between the groups. In other words, whether we want to find out whether there is any variance at the between groups level so that there is a dependency that arises from our cluster data structure. So it's basically a first step in screening your data and looking at whether the cluster structure of your data results in dependencies uh, of the observations such that you have to take the multi-level structure into account. As we will see with this intercept only model we also get a coefficient or a measure that tells us directly how large the dependency in the data is due to the multi-level structure. The so-called intra-class correlation coefficient is estimated by M plus as part of the um, model estimation here. So the intercept only model is a very simple model that allows you to determine whether you have any variance at level 2 so that you can then find out whether it's worth adding, for example, any level 2 predictor variables and or it allows you to find out whether it is necessary to address the non-independence in your data that arises from the multi-level structure. So let's take a look at how this works in the M plus software. You can see I have a data set here that is called data.dat. I have four variables in this data set, class, math, KFT, and S-type. And I want to focus here on the math score variable, the second variable as an outcome variable for this model. So I want to specify this empty model for the math score. The data here are nested, so I have a multi-level design because I have students that were assessed in different school classes, so the students are nested within those school classes, and there could be a dependency that could arise from the fact that the same students are um, exposed, for example, to the same teacher, the same classroom environment, the same school, if we look at different schools also. And so there could be a dependency that is due to students being clustered in these different classrooms. And that's what I want to find out here with the intercept only model, whether there's any dependence, whether there's any variance at the school class level, so that um, I can find out whether there's, for example, any level two variance between school class variance that I might uh, want to explain with, for example, level two predictors. You can see that I picked the math variable from my variable list here and listed it under use variable so that M plus knows this is the outcome variable for which I want to specify this model and then I also included a subcommand that reads cluster equals. Cluster means we are defining the multi-level structure. We're letting M plus know what the cluster variable here is, and so that's the school class variable. So whenever you run any kind of multi-level analysis in M+, you need to have a cluster variable in your data set that defines your hierarchical data structure. And then next we have to include the analysis type equals two level, which tells M+, we're estimating a two-level model. For this simple intercept-only model, 
we don't need to include a model statement because M plus will automatically figure out that when we list a single variable and no model statement that under type 2 level this could only be this random intercept model or intercept only model. So no model statement is required here. And then we also request uh, sample statistics at as the output so that we get additional summary statistics. Let's take a look at the output for this model. And so you can see we get a warning message in M plus about all variables being uncorrelated with all other variables in the model and that we should check that this is what we intended. Now in this case we can ignore this warning message because there is only one variable in our model, the math um, outcome variable, and so it doesn't make a lot of sense here this message because there couldn't be any correlations between different variables anyway, so in this case it's fine. It's something that M plus um, prints whenever you uh, have multiple variables in a, for example, structural equation model or other model and you didn't specify a covariance between them, then M plus wants to know whether this is what you intended. We have 503 individual cases in this example and they are nested in 34 school classes. You can see this here from the number of clusters being 34, so there were 34 school classes. The average cluster size was 14.79, so on average about 15 students per class. And you can see M plus also gives us the intra-class correlation coefficient estimate for our outcome variable. And you can see that the intra-class correlation here is very strong, 0.44, which means that there's a very substantial uh, or a very substantial proportion of the total variance comes from the between level, the between groups level, or school class level here. In other words, there were large differences in average math performance between um, some of those school classes, resulting in variation between clusters that was very substantial. So that already is an important result, and it tells us basically two things. One is we can't ignore the multi-level structure, so we can't just run a simple regression model, simple ordinary least squares regression ignoring the cluster structure or a simple analysis of variance where we would ignore the cluster structure because that could result in biased estimates of standard errors, p-values, test statistics, and um, in resulting in incorrect statistical inference because the dependency here on the school class is very strong. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is that if you were planning to do multi-level modeling to begin with, then this strong intra-class correlation tells you that there is substantial variance at the between level or groups level so that it does make sense here to add any level 2 predictor variables definitely if you have any and look at them because there is variance to explain at the school class level and so if you had any variables such as for example the school type or something like uh, like that that or teacher um, teacher variables then it would make sense here to add them as predictor variables in a more complex multi-level model that also includes level 2 predictor variables. Now let's take a look at um, the descriptive statistics. You can see that M plus splits them out for any two-level model into estimated sample statistics for within. So that's our level one here, the individual level. For level one, the means are not estimated. Those are estimated only at level two, so the mean here is zero. But we do get the variance at level 1, so that is the math, the, the estimated level 1 variance component here for the math variable. And if you had more than one variable in your model, then you would get a full covariance matrix and you would also get a full level 1 correlation matrix here. Below that are the estimated sample statistics for level 2 or the between level. You can see here the mean is given, so that's the average math performance, about 12 points. And we also have a variance component at level 2. And you can see that this is relative to the level 1 variance component. This is also very substantial, 20.847.
Again, the level 1 variance was 26.48, so this is not much lower than the level 1 variance, so it's almost like 50-50, and that explains why we got this intra-class correlation coefficient of 0.44, a very substantial intra-class correlation, because the intra-class correlation is given as the between-level variance component, so in this case the 20.847, divided by the sum of within-level variance plus between level variance and so that results in the 0.44 when you divide 20.847 by the sum 26.48 plus 20.847. At the bottom then we get the model results. The model estimation terminated normally. You can see there are three free parameters in this intercept only model, the two variance components and the fixed effect, the mean and so those fit statistics that are provided here are not really so relevant for us for this model, but we can take a look at the model results or parameter estimates, and you can see here the variance components are given again with a standard error for each, and there's also the fixed effect here, the mean um, estimated at level 2, and so here again you can see the within-level variance component was about 26, the between-level component was about 21 there, so there's very substantial variance here at the between level, and so now we could get started with a more complex multi-level model, for example, a random coefficient regression model, or a full multi-level model where we have both level 1 predictors and level 2 predictors, and potential cross-level interactions, and so on. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. Also, please check out the description for additional resources and additional um, videos and workshops, and I'll see you next time.